Hey, honey, where's the HD button on this for the focus? I think my ratings would go up if they can't see my face quite as well. Honey? Honey? Oh, geez. Sorry about that. Greg Whitmore, Taiyi Mountain Wellness. I've always been told I have a face for blogging, but I like YouTube so much, so I'm going to continue to put my face on there. Sorry about that. Listen, today I wanted to talk about fuel and energy. In a previous video, I talked about our fuel sources, our macronutrients, carbohydrates, fats, proteins. We talked about how many calories were in every gram. That's the measure of heat energy. I thought I would relate the energy in our body to the energy or the fuel source for a fire. Now, I'll be putting out a lot of videos around a fire because when we start talking about stress relief, it's one of my biggest stress relievers. So again, going back to my video on carbohydrates, First of all, we talked about we don't even need carbohydrates. Our body makes carbohydrates through a process called gluconeogenesis. But we do know we are going to take in carbohydrates, and we do. Our society takes in a lot of carbohydrates. But I want to kind of relate it to, again, the energy in a fire. So when we talk about the two types of carbohydrates, we talked about simple carbohydrates and complex. So let's think about simple carbohydrates in the form of a paper towel. Okay, This would be a piece of candy, uh, some sugar, syrup, jam. You throw it on the fire, the fire loves it. Okay, It's an easy source. You're going to get some energy, you're going to get some heat, but it's going to go away very fast. And of course, when that energy burns down, goes away, what do we need to do? Take in some more simple carbohydrates, another cookie, some more candy, another Starbucks coffee drink. Okay? But this type of fuel source, again, is not going to get us very far. So what can we do? Bump it up to complex carbohydrates. Remember we talked about if we're going to take in carbohydrates, we want to take in complex carbohydrates. Okay? That's like putting small kindling on the fire. Maybe a piece of fruit. So better than simple carbohydrates or simple sugar empty calorie foods might be some fruit. Pieces of fruit, apple, oranges, bananas. Again, still simple carbohydrates in the form of fructose, but they come with vitamins and minerals. Some come with fiber. Uh, fire's gonna like them. They're gonna burn really tiny pieces of kindling. Um, they're going to provide some heat, more than simple carbohydrates, but again, they're not going to last us very long. But still, better to eat fruit than candy, of course. Our next option is a better source of carbohydrates, and that is complex carbohydrates. Remember the whole grain food, stuff with fiber in them. That's like putting a little bit bigger kindling on the fire. Again, fire is going to like them. The body likes to use complex carbohydrates, and yet, it takes the body a little bit longer to build those down. They're a little bit more molecularly complex. Still not going to get us through the night very well. Still not going to build up a big source of heat, but it's much better than simple carbohydrates. So uh, complex carbohydrates is a good choice. Now we talked about protein. The body will use protein as a source of energy, and it's four calories in every gram. But it's kind of like putting a sock on the fire. It'll burn. It'll start to burn. But that sock is way more useful to us as a source of heat on our feet than it is on the fire. We don't want the body to use protein for an energy source. So let's make sure we keep that out of the equation. What we really want is to become fat adapted. Remember, fat has nine calories in every gram, more than double what carbohydrates and protein have. So putting a log on the fire or a big chunk of wood would be like using fat, okay? The body is going to burn it. It's gonna take a little bit longer for it to catch on fire, but once it does, it's gonna provide a lot more heat, a lot more energy, and we're not gonna be throwing that fuel on all night long. 
in terms of our body, if we start using fat as a fuel source, we're going to lose body fat, we're going to lose weight. It's a great way for fat loss. I'm going to be talking a lot more about using fat, doing what is called intermittent fasting, going on low carb so our body becomes fat adapted. And I promise you, you'll see the health benefits from that. Besides weight loss, besides less inflammation, but also ways possibly you can reverse type 2 diabetes and some signs autoimmune diseases. So I hope that visual helps you understand a little bit between the difference of simple, complex, using protein, which is not a good source for us, and then using fat as an energy source. A lot more on that in future videos. But you also get some good stuff with it in fiber, in some of the orange, uh, but you also get some good stuff in the form of the apple, but you also get some good stuff in the form of fiber when you're eating fruit. We take in more and more, more cookies, more chips, other types of, of simple carbohydrates. that sock is a lot more useful to us by keeping our feet warm than it is on the fire. And a lot of times it's going to smolder. But it's a little tougher for the body to break.